Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. Today, the curtain falls on the regular season, and we've got a good one in store between the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Giants have a first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On the counter, ETN. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. These two teams, they met earlier in the season in Philly with the Eagles winning that ball game. So they're trying to win here in Philadelphia to capture the season series. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. On second down, ETN once more. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Lawrence giving to ETN here on the option. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. On second down, a run with ETN. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Lawrence. They'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. They'll get it inside the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll be stopped up at the 25.
Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Buying time to his left. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Against a team coming off a win, just as your team did the previous week, you talk about being physical all game long. Sometimes being physical is just being on the spot and helping force the incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Hurts to throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an Eagle first down. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. The Eagles at 13-3 and three now on the year. And they've gone a full couple of months now since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And we always talk about how a team has to play complementary football in order to really be a good squad. But I think in this league, if your offense isn't playing really well as this one is, you're not going to run off this kind of a streak. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. A big pick up there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. A good run there off right tackle in old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Come back, Come back, On second and 11 now. Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Well, this defense for the Giants, they were excellent a week ago in that victory over Indianapolis. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball? Or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback up right? And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, they're not hiding who their central focus is on offense. Charles, he already now has four receptions here on this opening drive. And I know people who are watching the game are thinking, did they forget about him in the defensive game plan? But it's actually been the opposite. They're giving him a lot of attention, but he's been very creative and savvy in his route running and finding seams and openings in order to create these completions. 6 nothing, our score after one. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Once again, it's Swift. And he is in to the end zone. Touchdown, DeAndre Swift. His eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Eagles are an extra point away from capturing the lead. Elliott good with a PAT. And they take the lead here at 7-6. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From the 10. 
And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. Lawrence hit and the ball is free. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And a terrific return there. They're finding the Eagles. And how about the big boys showing off the wheels? Let's face it. Anybody who watches a game, even if it goes against your team, when there's a big man with the football, <laughs> Everyone, all locks eyes. In. All <laughs> Everyone locks in, and the rumbling, you can feel it all the way to the upper reaches of the stands. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Okay, ready? Take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. This offense hoping to do better than last drive. Remember, they had the fumble that set up the short field, and then they gave up the touchdown CD. And so many people talk about how you have to have a short memory after you make a mistake in the NFL. I don't totally subscribe to that, partner. I think that you have to remember what you did and figure out how to not do it again. Get out there and execute the next time out. Avoid those errors and get some momentum built back up for your offense. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Lawrence will throw. They'll get this out to the flat for ETN. Busting through contact. Just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stopped just inside the 35-yard line. To throw again on second down. Lawrence, he's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to deal with the long way out there, but it'll be four down. Tremendous field position there, and a perfect time to do something that they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence looking for Campbell downfield. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Paris Campbell, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Giants are back within a couple of the lead. This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead is cut to one at 14-13. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. A short kick taken at the 18. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
Even though they might not find the number one seed next to their name come playoff time, there's not going to be very many teams, if any, entering the playoffs on the kind of run they're on. They're hot. And I love that word, hot, because every team in the league wants to go into the playoffs on that uptick. Because a lot of the time, you serve notice to the rest of the league that, hey, we're the team you need to deal with. You're, we're the team that's going to be a real problem for you. And if they can continue this streak, they can very well be that team and gain that confidence that they're seeking as they head to the playoffs. And confidence, that's the word I would use from our meetings with them. They said we're playing our best football right now. It is showing. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing his hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. Touchdown! Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are. But this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big streak like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. From the 10. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, Paul. You know, you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you, all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. First down, Lawrence. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. He'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Throwing again on second and ten. Lawrence. That ball caught by Campbell. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 32-yard line. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Play action, it's Lawrence. And that is incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. And the slot man goes in motion left. 
Lawrence going to throw again. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. One thing you have to say about a rookie tight end is real concentration when the ball's in the air. I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Unable to connect. Incomplete. Give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Gano's kick is good, and that'll get the lead down to five. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. He's put up numbers in this one by pushing the envelope a bit whenever he could with deeper throws. But let's play a little philosophy here. Some plays it works, sometimes they're ready for you, and that time, they were on guard. Incomplete. On second down, Swift. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Hurt sets up to throw it. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up four. So after three drives, it ended touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. They get bogged down on drive number four. Yeah, I don't know how excited you would be on the other side of the ball that they finally didn't score. You know, you're happy, of course, but at the same time, did you have that much to do with it, or did they just get tired? Maybe it's just a sense of relief at this point. <laughs> They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. This is Smith with a grab. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. But first down, Hurts. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it. And it'll be second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's going deep for Brown. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. In motion left comes Brown. Back to throw again. Wide open is Watkins. He's got it. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. If points result, we'll call this play significant. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will do it for this first half.
So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well, and most importantly, partner. And they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know the perfections in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. 65 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Brandon, that's still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Quez Watkins with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Elliott Good with a PAT, and the lead is up to 15 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From the 10. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that leads you into bigger errors. On second and 12, Lawrence throwing the out route incomplete. That's Campbell. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That one good for 37 yards. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Here's Lawrence to throw. And that is incomplete. Now the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Oh, nice defensive effort there. Providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver. Separates him from the catch. And normally, he's a sure-handed target. Second and 10 now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. They go play action with Lawrence. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Oh, good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Still going to go a lot tighter near the end zone, though. That's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception.
interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. On third down, here's ETN. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Fourth down, here's Lawrence. Got a man, Slayton. Touchdown, Giants! Darius Slayton, 34 yards. And the Giants' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point try, good by Gano. And this is back to an eight-point game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter, despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown, because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well, because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll run right here with Swift. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive linemen said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Back to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down, then a near sack. They got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback, because that was awfully close. The man in motion is Brown. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Andre Sisko. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively, getting inside the quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where's he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. They'll send a receiver in motion left. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. We'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Yeah. 
A give to ETN running right. And he's got room. Touchdown, Giants. Travis ETN, 40 yards. And the Giants are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Going deep here for Watkins. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep blow with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and ten from the 25. Here's Hertz to throw. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. They'll find Swift out of the backfield. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a game of 16 and an eagle first down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. Sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Hurts. He'll take a shot for the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Well, this one complete to Smith. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. So the drive takes him in the Giants' territory now. First and 10, down at the 33. Throwing his hurts. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. There's a reason the number four was flashing through my mind when he let that one go. Three touchdowns already in his back pocket. The deep ball's been a great weapon for him in this one. Unfortunately, empty on that attempt. 18 rebel, 18 rebel. Mustang 19. On second and 10, Hurts looking middle, and it's incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. So third down, and a field goal from here would be right about 50 yards as they try to get closer. In motion right is Brown. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 17-yard line. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. 
So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now a give, right side, Swift. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. On the handoff, this is Swift. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, it's been a tough go for him. This guy's been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. Tackled just shy of the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes his forward for about six. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. ETN once more. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. 74 yards now for ETN, and he's got a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Throwing now Lawrence on first down. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. A good pick up there, 26 yards. First and ten, it's ETN. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Straight ahead, ETN. And this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. Back to throw, Lawrence. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort.
Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Lawrence. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute. And they're an extra point away from tying this game. Gano for the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through. And we are tied here in the fourth. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. offense set to begin their next drive well partner here it is they've got the chance to win the game you'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal we'll see what they can do and you're right about that because if we look at it in macro that's what it looks like but I think in micro the head coach has already asked the special teams coach what is he feeling what does he think where does he want the football what's the yard line we have to get and he's already relayed that to his quarterback in his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Sets up to throw it. And that will be incomplete. Well, the defense certainly did its job. They held up in that situation. And now fourth down, you've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made in my estimation. Here we go. 70 Rangers. 70 Rangers. Half for 60. Half for 60. 79 Broncos. In motion, right is Brown. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Giants are going to take possession of the football. Week after week, we're seeing plays like this from him. And I think he's in line. We've discussed it before for NFL Defensive Player of the Year. And a big reason why, I think, is because of his ball skills. And that's something that... For guys of his position, they've talked about it for years. They've done the drills. But they've really increased it in recent seasons because of the offense have gotten so good. He knows how to take the ball away. That is huge for a defender. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. A give, running right, ETM. And down to the 41. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second down, ETN once more. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Big third down, a field goal from this spot, 57 yards as they hope to move it a little closer. Another toe for ETN. Bit of a surprise, they ran it on third and medium, proved to be the right call, first and 10. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. 
So it all comes down to the right foot of Graham Gano. The clock showing just one tick. This for the win. And the kick is good. He got it. And it's official now. They're going to the playoffs. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one-possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So for the Giants, it's one more win to finish the season as they wrap up with a sterling 15-2 record. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they suffered just their fourth loss all year to bring the final mark to 13-4 overall. And now they'll have to see how the final playoff picture will all shake out.